Can you get a chemical peel with a beard? When you start looking into skincare for men, it isn't long until you hear about chemical peels. This skincare technique has gotten more popular in recent years as a way to quickly improve the quality of your skin. But can you get one with a beard? You can get a chemical peel with a beard, but the size of the beard will affect the quality of the peel. A chemical peel is carefully applied to the skin in order to cause a chemical reaction. The hair from your beard blocks access to the skin. So if your beard is too long, then the peel would be applied to the skin of the face around the beard. Product can be applied to the cheeks and chin if the skin is visible, such as the case with a stubble beard. Just what exactly a chemical peel is, how it affects shaving, and what do men need to know before they decide to get one are just a few of the questions that we'll answer in this article so you can decide if a chemical peel is right for you. What bearded men need to know about chemical peels? A chemical peel is a process in which an acid solution is applied to the skin. This solution may use carbolic acid, glycolic acid, lactic acid, salicylic acid, or trichloroacetic acid as the base chemical. Each of these chemicals can be extremely dangerous if they aren't used carefully. This is why a chemical peel should be done by a doctor or otherwise certified professional. However, there have been chemical peels marketed for use at home. I recommend against these, but if you're going to use one, use a highly rated brand such as Neogen. A chemical peel is carefully applied to the skin, whereupon it begins to slowly eat its way through the skin. This destroys the outermost layer of the skin so that the clearer skin underneath can be seen and replace the outer layer. Basically, a chemical peel creates a small wound that the doctor controls. This causes the skin of the outer layer to flake off over the next few days to reveal that unblemished skin beneath. Getting a chemical peel can be a great way to take care of your skin, although you wouldn't want to do it too often. A lot of men seem to think that chemical peels, much like facials, are treatments exclusively for women. While it is true that they are most strongly marketed to women, men need to understand that these products and procedures benefit them too. While we talk in depth about chemical peels and shaving below, I want to make it clear that men with beards can benefit from a chemical peel. The solution will only be applied around your beard if it is too large. If you care about your skin, then this is still a quick way to get those visible parts looking spotless. If you combine this with proper beard care and moisturizing of the skin underneath, then your skin care game is going to be A+. If you rock a stubble beard, then the skin underneath the hairs will still be clearly visible. In this case, you can get a chemical peel applied to your whole face. If you aren't taking care of your beard and softening the hairs with oil, then you might find that a chemical peel is extremely irritating around the beard area. But if you care for it properly, you shouldn't experience any extra discomfort. The benefits of a chemical peel make for a long list. They reduce the lines and wrinkles in the face and help to clear up a blotchy complexion. They are used to treat skin that's been damaged by the sun or other issues. They're even used to treat acne. You can learn more about acne products and beards in this video. Do acne products affect facial hair growth? There are a lot of worries that men voice when it comes to chemical peels. They worry that it'll affect facial hair growth, that it will mess with shaving, or that it makes them less masculine. While there are horror stories about chemical peels gone wrong, most of these are linked to at-home use or to businesses that didn't follow safety guidelines. But if you get a chemical peel done by a professional, you won't have anything to worry about. Follow their pre- and aftercare instructions and follow the advice below regarding shaving. If you do so, then you'll be able to get a chemical peel with a mind free from worry. It'll be up to you to decide if the results warrant further procedures down the road. I heard that chemical peels with stunt beard growth. Is this true? It is not. Much like spray tanning, chemical peels work because of a chemical reaction. The acid of the peel is very minor and carefully applied so that only the top layer of skin is removed. The pores in which your hair follicles grow are much deeper in the skin. The outermost layer of your skin, the epidermis, is burned away while the lower layer where your hair follicles are, the dermis, is perfectly fine. So, no real damage is done to the hair in any way that could inhibit growth. Should I shave before a chemical peel? If you have a large beard, you won't be able to get a chemical peel beneath it. So, if you want to have your whole face peeled then you're going to need to shave. However, you aren't going to want to shave the day of, or even the night before. Shaving irritates the skin. This is why we use aftershave and other moisturizers. The peel will be irritating in a similar manner and stacking the irritation of shaving with the irritation of a chemical peel is never a fun time. If you just have some stubble and you are worried about it, don't be. It is easy to apply chemical solutions to the skin when it can be seen so clearly. 
It's only those with large beards who will need to shave first. I nicked myself shaving, should I cancel my chemical peel? If you nicked yourself a few days beforehand then you might want to consider canceling. If you nicked yourself less than two days before your appointment, definitely cancel. Doctors recommend against getting a chemical peel for many different reasons. One reason is the risk of further damage if you have an open wound or skin infection. A nick shaving might not seem like much but if it hasn't healed yet, then you shouldn't get the peel. There are some other reasons why you shouldn't get a peel that are worth mentioning, although they aren't exclusive to the bearded. If you have any damage to your skin such as sunburns or rashes, or if you have skin cancer or inflammatory dermatoses, you should avoid getting a chemical peel as they can cause some serious damage to your already compromised skin. Can I shave after a chemical peel? You can, but it isn't advised. You are going to be better off waiting a few days before you shave again. Chemical peels will leave your skin flaking for a variable amount of time. Some solutions result in larger flakes, some in smaller flakes. For the least irritation possible, wait until you aren't flaking anymore before you shave. If you absolutely must shave, you have two options. The first is to use an electric trimmer. You need to be very careful with it and you absolutely must make sure that it is cleaned properly first. Your second option is to use a handheld razor and a heck of a lot of shaving cream. You want to make sure that your face is moisturized well with shaving cream so that you get the slickest glide possible. Try to be gentle as a nick here is going to be extremely unpleasant. If you do, use aftershave to clean it. It won't be life-threatening, but it won't feel very nice. If you can wait, it's best to do that. Most people can get by with a week's worth of stubble. Conclusion You can get a chemical peel with a beard, but you might not be able to get it on the part of your face where your beard resides. If you are considering a chemical peel but don't want to shave your beard, then don't. Simply get it applied to the rest of your face. Keep up your beard care routine and that part will be perfectly fine. Later, when you shave, you can always get that section of your face peeled but remember to shave several days prior to your appointment rather than just before. Also, don't forget to cancel your appointment if you nick yourself shaving or otherwise wound your face. This is a recipe for a bad time and any self-respecting doctor would refuse the procedure until you are healed. Even when it comes to looking out best, safety should always come first. Stay healthy, stay well, and keep that beard growing long.